This is David Harper of Bionic Turtle. I wanted to briefly illustrate a compound option, which is a particular type of exotic option. To do that, we need a brief timeline here. Today is T0, T1 is a point in time in the future, and then T2 will be even later than that. If today, time 0, we purchase a call option, we are buying the right to exercise at a price of K1, and in exchange for that, we will receive a call option. So in this case, we are purchasing a call option on a call option. Other variants are we could purchase a call option on a put, a put on a call, or a put on a put. So at time zero today, we purchase the compound option. That gives us the right going forward to exercise that compound option. So let's just say the stock increases a little bit here, and now we're at time one. And we exercise the compound option. That means we pay the strike price of K1. What do we get for that? Not the stock, we get an option. So we would only do that if the value at T1 if the value of the call option is greater than the strike price. So now having exercised the compound option we now in fact own the more familiar plain vanilla call option on the stock and we do need another exercise price so that's going to have an exercise price of K2. So notice we have two strike prices. First when we purchased the compound option K1 is the price we pay in order to exercise initially to purchase the call option and then that call option has K2 its own strike price. So now we own the call option and if we go forward in time and let's just say the stock moves in our favor, it increases, such that at T2 there is intrinsic value in this call option. The stock price is greater than K2. Then, as a typical call option, we will exercise this if in fact the stock is greater than K2, the exercise price. So now at T2, we exercise the underlying option by paying the strike at K2 and receiving the underlying asset, in this case, the stock. So you can see this is a call option on a call option. The compound option we purchased was the right but not the obligation to exercise at K1 and there receive in exchange a call option and then subsequent to that we can exercise the call option by paying the strike of K2 and this was a call on a call. We could have a call on a put, a put on a call, or a put on a put. Those would be the four types of compound options. So I hope this was helpful. This is David Harper, the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm.